Once you've created your account for Next Century, you can go access your submetering system via the website at app.nextcenturymeters.com. There's also a Next Century phone app that you can download and access the data that way. Once you put in your username and password and sign in, you'll be on the home page. The home page is going to list out all the properties assigned to your account. So if you have multiple properties assigned to your account, you'll see them here. The likelihood is you may just have one. Um, and in order to access the property data, you'll click on the property and click this details button. These other buttons are quick access to other tabs, which we're going to talk about in a minute. So you may start there in the future. But starting out with details, this is going to give you the overview information of your property, where the property is located, the current health of the property. I can see all the all the devices that are connected. I can see that my gateway is online. It synced 21 minutes ago. The next tab is the charts tab. If you'd like to use this tab, it's it's mostly informational. It can help with troubleshooting when applicable, uh, but it can give you some information about how the transmitters are connecting. If you had multiple repeaters on site, they might go from one transmitter through two repeaters to the gateway. In this case, I can see that each of my transmitters is connecting directly to the gateway. The next tab is the equipment tab. This kind of gives me a specific uh, information about each unit where you know what it's measuring what kind of equipment it is <clears throat> the serial number and whether or not it's connected recently these transmitters are supposed to connect once every six hours they should have a green check mark as long as they've checked in within the last 24 hours they'll turn into a red x if they're not seen for 24 hours meaning that maybe the transmitter's offline because it's too far away or the battery's dead the serial number is what tells the system what the transmitter is communicating for. So a key note is that if you put a transmitter in a different unit than what it's labeled with, the transmitter won't know. So you need to contact us to have that updated so that you make sure you're getting usage data for the units that the transmitters are installed in. All of the equipment that comes from us is pre-configured and pre-labeled. So as long as you install it in the units that it's labeled with, it should all be plug and play ready to go. The next tab is the program tab. You shouldn't need to use this. This is where we do all of the initial programming. Um, you may not even see this tab in your version. Don't worry about that. The reports tab is where you're gonna get the data uh, that you need in order to manage your property and, and likely use the, use the data to produce bills for your residents. Um, the first tab that you're gonna, or the first type of report that you're probably gonna be interested in is the usage report. The usage report tells us what the usage for a specific date range is. So you can set that to the exact days that you want to see. You can see it by unit um, and what serial number that is and what the meter read and the meter usage is. Meter read is different than meter usage. The meter read is the all time read of the meter. It's constantly counting up. The meter usage takes the current read and deducts it from the last read on the first day to give you the difference, which is how much water or or whatever utility has been used during that amount of time if you'd like to set these up as a recurring report you can schedule it to have it sent to your email by going to schedule inputting the uh, email information down here what email you want it set up to and whether you want or and what interval you want that sent for and then click save other reports you might want to take a look at are things like uh, temperature, network, how strong things are, whether or not the batteries, uh, the different battery levels. Alerts tells you where uh, you might have a leak, you might have a low battery or something like that. You can set up alerts to actually give you notifications of these things when they happen so that you can more quickly see that um, that there may be a potential leak. Keep in mind that leak sensors are different than leak alerts. Leak alerts tell you it's seen consistent usage over a 24 hour period where typically within a household uh, water wouldn't be used, you know, maybe when we're asleep or something like that. Uh, but in this case, it, it's been consistently running. There may be a running toilet or some kind of small leak and the system's helping you be aware of that. It's not the active leak sensor, which has is a different product where when water touches the sensor, it sends you a specific alert. That's a brief overview of the system. You're always welcome to contact our company uh, for a more in-depth walkthrough or for assistance with setting up any kinds of alerts or anything like that.